websites or just want to know more about what's going on behind the scenes of a web page, then you'll be glad to know about the Web Inspector in version 5 of Safari. The first thing to do is turn it on. Go to the Safari Preferences, Advanced, and tick the box Show Develop Menu in the menu bar. And when I, can, when I do that, you'll see there's a new menu item up there. That menu item gives you a lot of things that you can do. We're going to focus today on the Web Inspector. You can use it from up here, but quite honestly, the easiest way is to do it directly on the web page. For example, perhaps I'd like to know more about this part of this web page. I hold down the control key, click on that part, and now I can choose Inspect Element. This opens up the Web Inspector as a pane in the bottom part of the window. As I hover over items, you can see they're highlighted in the main part of the window above. The part I was interested in, this part here, is already selected down here. If I unfold the triangle, now I can see exactly what it says and what the HTML coding is. I can make changes here by double-clicking on it and actually editing out part of the content. And that's then reflected up here. It's not changing the actual web page back on the server, it's just changing my local view of it. Over on the right hand side of the pane, I can see which particular styles are applying to the coding that's selected over here. If you don't want to see it all in just a pane as part of the window, click this icon down here and it opens the Web Inspector into a new window of its own. Click the icon at the bottom here and it puts it back as part of the main window. And now if you have made any changes on the page, make sure you come back and refresh so that you're seeing the original version again. Another thing that you can do is click on the console icon here and this will now show you any errors that are actually on the page. And I'm rather embarrassed to see that there are quite a lot on my Know It blog. I'll just hide that again. There's more information about the Web Inspector, the pane and the window back at the Mac Tips website. Take a look there to find out a little bit more.